Hi, I'm Maimon, and welcome back to one of my DIY and woodworking videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the saw blade on your table saw. So let's get to it. I'm going to talk about the saw blade later, but let's talk about replacing it first. The first thing you want to do is you want to get rid of the guard. Oh, first thing you want to do, before any of this, you want to unplug your, your, uh, your table saw. You don't want to get cut while you're doing this. So just take off the guard. In order to do that, all you have to do is pull off, pull off this lever. And then you want to angle this so that you can take it out. You'll see this hook here is where you want to take it out. You want to angle it out and set that aside. You want to take out the spacer. In order to take this out, all you have to do is just take note of these latches right here. You want to take them off and then lift them off. I'll put that aside. Now then, you want to make sure that your saw is set to the highest setting. We've already done that. And next what you want to do is you want to take a screwdriver and notice four screws. You might hear my uh, cat bell in the background. I do apologize if that's disturbing. Uh, but now we're just going to unscrew these. Set these aside because you're going to need them for later. I'm going to put them in my pocket. Okay, and this is the last screw. In order to finally take off this little piece right here, in order to take that off, we finally have to unlock it. And in order to unlock it, you'll see that there's a locked diagram and an unlocked. We just turn it to unlocked, and you'll see that when we put our finger in here and pull it up, that we're able to take it off. Uh, and this is what the lock mechanism looks like. It gets stuck on this piece here. Okay, pretty nifty. All right, sorry about that. Uh, Bella is meowing really badly, so we had to put her in her cage. Now we're gonna take out the actual saw. And you might think, well, what tools do I need? And you actually might already have the tools. We actually spent half an hour looking in the garage, even the attic, for the tools. But the entire time, they're actually on the side of our table saw. So this is a, a Dewalt table saw, so it might be true for all Dewalts. Um, I can't say the same for yours. But just in case, look on your table saw. So in our case, we actually have two, because in order to take out the saw, we have to stop it from spinning on this side, and then take out the knot on this side. So put one here, and put one here. So. You take out this washer here, or this T-nut, and then you can see we have two tools. <laughs> this, 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 this wrench right here is open-ended, so that means it's going to be on this side. Because if you look really closely, you might not be able to see it in this light, but you're actually not going to be able to loop the wrench around this, so obviously this open-ended one has to be on this side. But anyway, um, my dad uh, told me that we should probably put the, this nut back on. Uh, since we have lost screws in the past, uh, just keep that in mind. But here's what we're going to do. First, we're going to first we're going to try to rotate this so that we can basically have this facing straight up. Uh, if you're actually doing this, you might be able to see that the sides of the um, of the nut right here are facing straight up. But when we put it in, you'll see that I'm able to maneuver it. Now what we want to do is we want to take our wrench here and then we want to angle it just like this. Okay, righty tighty lefty loosey so that means you're pulling left. Let's do it. We only want to do a quarter turn. All right, so for loosening it, if, it, if it's really tight, what you can do is you can place a block of wood here Take your other wrench and rest it here. Take the first wrench and then knock it with a hammer. Uh, it's really unusual that it's tight. Maybe it's because it's been a long time and saws has gotten into it. But the reason it's not supposed to be tight is because this, this saw spins in the other way. So this nut shouldn't be that tight. But anyway, we're now able to take it off by hand. And once we tighten it enough, we should be able to just take our finger and take it off. You wanna take off both the nut here and the washer right here. And now, just gently take it out. Right here is a 40 tooth um, Dewalt blade. We actually we actually replaced this uh, saw this table saw once already, and we replaced it with this 40 uh, this 40 tooth saw. Before it had a 24 tooth saw right here. And the reason that we replaced this is because although this is good for other woods, we want to cut plywood. And even though 
This sauce says it's also good for plywood. It wasn't as good as we wanted. So we replaced it with this 40 teeth one right here. The one that we're replacing it with now is this new Diablo saw blade. And it can cut both the, uh, the other words that we want to cut and plywood and uh, OSB. So as for Diablo, uh, I think, I'm, we're pretty sure it's a brand that's made by these guys, by Freud. Uh, it's a, a French company, I believe, and it's made out of high-density carbide. So, with that ado, with, without further ado, let's get to installing. Okay. It is very sharp, just keep that in mind. First thing you want to do is gently put it in. Okay, oh. Uh, I, I believe I have installed it the wrong way. The reason, the way that you want to install it is basically the teeth is facing outwards, so for, away from the guard. So, do this carefully. Okay. Take your washer, put it back on, and then take your nut and put it back on. So first you want to tighten it by hand. And then when you basically maximum tighten it by uh, hand, what you want to do is you don't want to tighten it too much. You just want to hold on. You want to tighten it maybe a quarter, uh, an eighth of a, a turn. So we're gonna do that. And like I said before, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So I think I'm gonna do uh, a quarter. Okay. Okay. And as you can see, this is pretty tightly on there. Now we're going to put the plate back on. Where is it? Oh, right here. In order to do that, first we're going to finagle it into where it needs to go. Make sure it goes under these latches, I mean these notches right here. Okay. And then what you want to do first is you want to lock it, and then you want to put these screws back on. Okay, so I actually stored them in here because uh, a pocket is not a really good place to uh, put them, especially if you're outside. And then just uh, put them on. All right, so when you put the spanner or the tool back on, what you want to do is uh, first off, you want to notice the shape of the hole, and you know that this one is probably going to be the one that goes on first. Okay, as it fits there nicely, and then this one's going to be the one that hits on second. You want to take your nut and then put it back on. After this, uh, all you have to do really is put the guard and the spacer back on. Uh, we're going to put the guard back on because the spacer is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, as, as for the guard, all you have to do is take a look at the, the hole right here. There's like a little axle that you're trying to finagle into this little notch. So, it should go like this. There we go. And, oh, hold on. What you want to do next is you want to lift this lever so that it can go to its fully resting position and then put it back down. As you can see, the guard is in a nice position. And finally, our space. So this one, this goes on like this. There's actually a nub right here that you need to insert into this notch. So we're going to lift these up. Make sure you align them properly. Alright, so as you can see, it's on both nubs. All you have to do is just lock it in place, alright? And then after that, all you have to do is just secure them. Alright, so I'm Ivan, and today I just showed you how to replace the table saw blade for your table saw. So in our next video, what we're going to do is we're going to be replacing the lawnmower blades for our Cub Cadet riding mower. So go check that out. We've actually done a video on this before, but we used the wrong blades. So we're going to do it again and hopefully it should work out well. And I'll see you in that video. And for now, I'm Aiman, and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and look at other videos on I Aiman, especially the DIY and wardrobe camp videos. And I'll see you there. But for now, signing out.